machine enthusiasts, it's Boris again from the Native Instruments headquarters in Berlin. Today I've got some special news for you, it's finally a reality. With the recent 2.7 update, the machine software is now able to time stretch and pitch shift audio loops in real time. Besides automatic tempo detection, Machine 2.7 also introduces more unique ways to interact with your loops using any machine hardware controller. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the new audio plugin and use it in several creative ways. So let's take a look on how to load it. First of all, there are various ways to do this. In the software, open the plugin menu and choose the category Internal. Here, the very first entry you see is the audio plugin. Select it from the menu to load it into an empty slot. On the MK3 hardware, you can either push the four directional encoder to open up the plugin browser or hit Shift plus Browse. The latter also works on all other models of machine. If you are already working with a sampler plugin and you want to replace it with an audio plugin, it works the exact same way. Simply make sure the sampler is focused and then load the audio plugin. This will override the sampler while keeping the audio file in place. Now you can start browsing as usual. But there is one major difference. All loops and samples automatically match and follow your current project tempo in real time. As you can hear, the detection is really fast and allows you to audition loops in context seamlessly without any disturbing gaps that could disrupt your creative flow. It's also possible to browse directly in the software. Make sure the little auto-load icon is lit and then use your cursor or arrow up and down keys to skip through. This one's very special, but let's keep it as it works perfectly for what I'm going to show you next. The audio plugin offers a bunch of parameters and ways to work with your loops. In loop mode, a loop will play continuously as long as there is a pattern playing. And you can bend its pitch at any time. It's as easy as moving your finger across the strip. For permanent changes, simply tweak the tune parameter. And sometimes it can also sound interesting to mess around with the length parameter a little bit. After becoming familiar with the basic loop mode, let's switch over to gate mode and see how it works. First thing you'll notice is that the loop has stopped playing. As a matter of fact, it's only muted and you can tell that by taking a look at the waveform which is still scrolling over here in the GUI. Now by pressing a pad you can let sections of the loop play through. And if this happens rhythmically, you can come up with some really interesting patterns. Some of you DJs out there might be familiar with the term transformer switch. And this is exactly what gate mode enables you to do. It opens up little windows to your audio material. You could also think of it as an unmute button, if you wish. At this point, a machine user might be wondering what the heck happens when keyboard mode is activated. Essentially, the gate functionality stays exactly the same after 
switching over to keyboard mode. Pressing a pad uncovers a section of your loop. So far, nothing to write home about. But as soon as you hit any lower or higher note, you'll notice that the tune of your sample follows whatever you play on the pads in real time. This allows you to rewrite the melodic content of your samples on the fly. This works pretty well with bass lines, synth samples, vocal chops, whatever you can think of. The best is, all of this can be recorded right into your pattern in the same way you'd capture drums or melodies in the machine. Simply hit record and play a couple of notes. Of course, all events can be quantized and edited afterwards. In my next example, I have a whole bunch of tasty drum breaks from the Decoded Forms expansion distributed across a group. And by hitting their corresponding pads, I can juggle all of them around. This also works on Machine Jam. As all audio loops are part of the same group, you can also tweak them all together by using a perform effect on a strip. An alternative way to use gate mode is to program events with the step sequencer. It's possible to sequence up to eight sounds at once using Machine Jam's 8x8 matrix. Currently, you can see the first four loops of the selected group and highlighting any of the click buttons allows the breaks to be heard. Let's bring in a melody and play it in keyboard mode. Combining all these functions together, you can already grasp how powerful the new audio plugin is when you want to shape your loops with your hands on the hardware. As you've seen during the course of this video, the audio plugin is a great tool to mangle your loops using a machine controller. It definitely enhances the spectrum of what's possible in machine a lot, especially when it comes to sample digging and live performances. With Machine 2.7, we've also released new firmware for MK3. Download version 1.41 now and you can manage your settings without ever touching the computer again. This includes audio and MIDI routings, as well as pad, LED and display settings. Plus, it's now possible to mirror your main outputs directly to the headphone output, which gives you much more flexibility in the studio and on stage. So. Don't miss this free update, which is now available in Native Access, and start working with your loop libraries in a whole new way.